17 years ago, 2006, my first book was published. It was called The Lost Scriptures of Giza. This was at the end of a 12-year period of very intense research. Those of you who have been watching my channel, you know what I mean by this. It was from a prison cell, surrounded by books. Nothing else to do in the world but research. Very difficult for a convicted felon who is still in prison to even get published. But I secured a publisher who went through the manuscript of the Lost Scriptures of Giza. And my publisher was very impressed with the material, very impressed with the fact that my bibliography for this book is very extensive. It shows hundreds of bibliographic citations showing that the source material came from divergent sources, different time periods, different cultures, different authors living at different periods, speaking different languages. And yet, I conclusively showed in this book that there is a synthetic thread of information that is embedded in the oldest texts in the world concerning who we are and where we're going. This is The Lost Scriptures of Giza, my very first published book. This book right here is, uh, it's getting pretty popular. It's getting pretty popular on, on YouTube, but the, the price on the back is $22 for the book, and that's exactly what I'm asking for. For those of you who have not received my book, I will be signing any books that are ordered from me. All the email to order these books, these signed copies, is in the description box and in the pinned comment. You can order this and my other books directly from me now. My publisher has provided me many copies. Anyone who orders any of these books from me will also be getting for free this amazing brochure put out put out by, by some new friends of mine that is the Greek breakdown the Greek breakdown of the first and second seal as I presented in two different video presentations showing all my source materials what I put together and even providing a QR code that goes to those videos so you can watch them this is something you can definitely share with people. You can make copies and distribute them. This is the first two seals of Revelation. As you know, events in the Middle East are now beginning the opening of the second seal. Everything that is described is unfolding. It's, a, it's, pretty, it's pretty interesting. It's also, it's also harrowing. Anyone who orders even a single book will also receive a free Archaics decal. These aren't free. They're $5. But for any order of any book, you'll get one for free. Put it on your vehicle, put it on your laptop, represent archaics, break free or die trying right here. So these come free. Let me tell you about this book. Um, there is no other book that I know of that cites more information about who Enoch is and who Enoch was to many different cultures and, and time periods and what his ministry was truly about a mathematician an architect a visionary a prophet someone who knew of what basically and understood our reality and the calendars that operate in it yeah calendars confine us enoch understood this enoch is remembered by many names this book contains all that subject matter this book was was published 17 years ago guys i'm only new to the social media scene three years on YouTube, but I am not new to the research game. I criticize many people today because they're not doing, they're not, their research is very shoddy. You can't watch 100 YouTube videos and look at 200 Facebook posts and then put together a presentation and try to claim any originality at all. You can't do that, but that's what's happening right now. In, in the YouTube, Facebook, universe this is what's happening across all the platforms a lot of the modern day material that, that is being digested isn't the result of research it's the result of rehashing huge difference you read lost scriptures of giza and you will see what real research can do the aha moments that you're going to have reading my books i promise you are going to be many and i know that there are many who are listening to my voice right now, who have already read this book, that will say that in the comments. They will admit to what they have found in, in my, my published books. 
So this book right here, Law Scriptures of Giza, a signed copy with, with the, the seals brochure and the sticker. $22 for that. Of course, I don't know what, what the shipping and handling is. That's something Don does, but you'll, you'll get it in the email. Email for the order is very, our ordering is very simple. It's a simple email now. And Don takes care of all that. But in the course of writing my Chronicon, when I published that book, I never stopped researching just because I got a publishing contract. Actually, I started putting more material together. And one of the enigmas that I found was a 138-year patterning that goes throughout history. It's amazing. I had enough material to publish a book, and it is packed. This book is jammed packed, full of data. I explain isometric projections. I provide about 50 examples of isometric projections, all involving the Phoenix phenomenon. Different historical events showing Phoenix cycles, showing the 138-year patterning, how it was known in ancient times, how even the modern United States government has recognized the Phoenix and what it stood for in antiquity and what it means for us in the future. It's in this book. This is When the Sun Darkens. It is my second published book. This book here's cover price is $15. I'm going to stick with that. 15 bucks, a signed copy. If you order this book, you'll also get these for, for, for free. This is just introductory level Phoenix Phenomenon material, but there's so much packed in there. For such a small book, the bibliography is huge. A lot of material had to be gone, gone through just to put that together. And there's a lot of Phoenix material in this book that I've never put on YouTube. It's just, there's only so much I can fit in a video. As time, as time went on, a couple of years, you know, go by, and uh, it's 2009, and I finish a book called Anunnaki Homeworld. I wrote it in 2008. I finished it in 2009. This is the book. It has to be big. It had to be big like this because it's packed full of charts. Chronological charts showing what you know of is the history of Nibiru. I call it Nemesis X object. A lot of charts are in here because it's got chapters on the Mayan log count. It's got chapters on crop circles, on stone, on how to decode Stonehenge and agroglyphs because I, I affirmatively show in here and anybody can, can follow the logic and use a calculator and see. Many of the agroglyphs are very sophisticated. Many of the crop circles that have appeared are geometrical messages and they involve palindrical dates. And I show this. It is, it is amazing the material that we find in, in that's being put in crop circles. This isn't arbitrary. There aren't two men with wooden planks on there. That's the cover story. These things are appearing within seconds. Cessna's flying over cornfields or wheat fields in the UK, and then a bright flash of light, and they fly back over the same field that they had just passed over five or six minutes earlier. There it is. A geometrical framework of patterning that has been laid down all over a wheat field that no, it would have taken 600 men six hours to do, much less a few people doing in a few minutes. There's no way. You know, the chemical composition, the changes that have, that have happened in the wheat so it wouldn't fracture as the stalks were bent and just laid over and then woven together, something else is operative here, and they're showing us palindrical secrets. They're providing exact dates into the future. I show, in, I show in this. This book was released in 2011, and I have two chapters in here basically explaining that the Mayan long count is not over in 2012. And in 2011, there was about 250 books, all telling you that bad things were about to happen in 2012 because the Mayan long count is about to end. All throughout this book, I'm telling you, that's bullshit. This book still is, is still viable. There is a lot of information about the dark satellite, the chronology of the dark satellite, the chronology of Nemesis X object. Many different prophetic chronologies are in this book. This book is still relevant. The data is not, is not old just because the primary issue, the prim primary reason I released the book was to go against every other book that was out there trying to tell you 2012 was going to be something. In here, I show you how to break down the Mayan long count. So easy. It ends in 2046 with a lot of other ancient calendars. This book right here, cover price, $19.95. I'm asking for the same $20.
twenty dollars. I will sign it, and you get you get the the seals and the sticker with the book. So Anunnaki Homeworld, for some reason, it's not a really big seller. Not because the, those who read it leave awesome reviews; they leave fantastic reviews. The issue is, is people think that it no longer it's no longer relevant because 2012 is come and gone. But my information was merely just warning that 2012 wasn't going to be about it. all these other books are full of shit. The rest of the book is about a whole bunch of things in the future. About 20, 20 about the I have a lot of information in this book about what we can expect in 2030, 2031, 2032, going into 2040, the Phoenix phenomenon. Then the 6.5 years between the Phoenix phenomenon and the return of the Nemesis X object. Another shift in called it the two dragons. Astronomers described it as the two great destructions. Back to back, 6.5 years apart. I got it all in, in Anunnaki Homeworld in this book. So. Like I said, I never stopped researching, guys. And as, as a couple years passed, 2013 comes around. And I tell my publisher, look, I have so much new, amazing data on this 138-year Phoenix patterning throughout world history. I got to know. He says, he says, man, send me the manuscript. Just send me the book. So I did. This book goes, this is not a beginner's book. When the Sun Darkens is a beginner's book for the Phoenix phenomenon. This is not. This one goes into a lot of detail, a lot of detail about time-space phenomena, how this is even possible. The 138-year periodicity of the Phoenix is perfect. It is found all throughout history. It is right here. This is Nostradamus and the Planets of Apocalypse. A lot of, a lot more information about isometric projections and, and how they and how we can use them for predictive values all in this book. This book is super deep. It is packed full of information, a lot about Nostradamus' quadrains. The print is small, but that's what you got to expect. This, this book is, is the second book on the Phoenix Phenomenon right here. Cover price, $15, so that's all I'm asking. It's $15, and I'll put, my, I'll put my sign, my name in here, and of course you'll get the sticker and the brochure on the first and second seal. The, the last book I want to talk about, now, I've written many. I've got several other books on Amazon that are available on Giants, on uh, Ooh Parts, Ancient Archaeology. Uh, I, got, I got other books, Awaken the Immortal Within. I've got some uh, fantasy fiction books as well, Phaelor and Saga. But as far as, as what I'm providing out of my office are these five books. For your collection, I'll sign them all. If you want all, one of, all, of each book signed, uh, they're all here. This book is a must read for anybody who wants to understand the ancient world, how the how the pre-flood world unfolded, what the Sumerian, Akkadian, ancient Babylonian cuneiform really tell us, how the Bible was Old Testament stories are borrowed from these old cuneiform libraries. This is a book that has more information about the pre-flood world than any other published book that I have ever seen. I put it all in one book. It, the bibliography in here is so extensive. The hundreds of sources that I've had to cite. If you chased my bibliography in your in your free time and you just started ordering and reading the books that I mentioned in here, it would take you the rest of your life. This is Return of the Fallen Ones, Nephilim Histories, The Antediluvian World, Anunnaki Chronology, and The Coming Cataclysm. The Anunnaki Nur calendar that no one has ever published before, but, you, but we do have references to it in ancient texts and in, in books from the 1800s. It's all explained in here, right here, guys. There is much information. I really should do a bunch of YouTube videos out of this book, but I haven't. I need to. But, uh, yeah, guys, the bibliography, the bibliography is extensive. Wait a minute. That's the wrong page. Yeah, guys, here's just part of the bibliography. It's just part of it. This beginning of the bibliography. That's a whole lot of books I had to read and study and data mine just to put this book together. Let's flip the page. Look, here's another one. This is all bibliography. Every single text that I had to study and read and data mine to put this together. Let's flip it again. See how far it goes. There's another page. Totally different page. This is research, guys. I'm not, I'm not saying this to, I'm not trying to boast here. I'm not trying to say this like I'm better than everybody else. What I'm trying to convey is that research is something that is not being done today. The majority of information that we are getting exposed to in social media, especially YouTube and similar type platforms, are 
people putting together absolute garbage from garbage that's being put out there. Good video, good audio, that doesn't make research, that makes entertainment. You want to know what good research is, read any one of my books and you will see how deep people have to go to pull these gems of information from these old books and then put them into a synthetic, a synthetic timeline that a synthesis that would be more comprehensible to someone who has not read all these old source materials. But you know what? We can flip the page again. And then it starts my chapter by chapter bibliography. Yeah guys, my books good my books are designed with bibliographies that cite all the sources and then chapter by chapter bibliographies that take you straight to in the source where data can be found. Yeah guys this book here, open your eyes. So I, I, I will say this, I will say this right here, like this, if you, want to, if you want to really understand the Phoenix phenomenon to be able to tell other people, you would have to read both of these books. This is introductory level, but this gets in, into more specifics. You would read both books and then you would just watch the videos on the Phoenix playlist and everything. You'll have aha moment after all, you'll get it, you'll understand it, you'll get it. 100%. If you read Lost Scriptures of Giza, all you would have to do is watch the the Giza, the Lost Secrets of Giza playlist, the Great Pyramid playlist, and, and everything would, would snap. Every, you would know everything I do. Everything. All those videos with, with the knowledge that's in this book put together, you'd understand. You'd, you'd, you'd have it. You would be able to discourse with this with anybody. Same thing with these two books, these are all the Anunnaki, the Anuna related material. All this right here. If you if you read this book, you would understand about the Mayan long count, but you would understand about a lot of other calendars too. You'd understand the dark satellite and how it has affected us through history, how it will return in 2052, how it was here to instigate the Tower of Babel, how it creates confusion every single time, how it appeared in 713 BC and altered the calendar for 360 days to our present calendar of 365.24 days. The Archons trapped in the prison called the Dark Satellite will be released in 2052. All they do is create confusion. That's what these books are about, their return. So that sums up my video. I don't want to keep it too long. I want you to know the email to order these goes straight to Dawn's office. She processes it. She now has a computer set up where she, where she prints up the stamps, even international stamps, instantly slaps them on the package. We can mail them the same day they're ordered now. This is a, we have a really nice system set up. I have to give all, her all the praise for doing it because I'm tech retarded and I don't understand this stuff, but she does. Every order, either one book, two book, three books, four books, five books, whatever, every single order will come with, with a, a Phoenix sticker and this brochure that you have my permission to make copies of. If you want more, more than one decal, if you want more than decal, you got to pay $5 for it. These were, these were expensive. These, these were expensive for us, but we did print off a thousand of them. So I'm hoping, I'm uh, hoping I don't sell more than a thousand books right now because I'm not ready for that. But uh, we do have a thousand stickers to give away. So here they are. Guys, I'm keeping this video short. So many people are just blowing our emails up with, with wanting book orders and all that. I had to do this. I'm going to release another video in the next couple of days explaining all the other Archaics merchandise. But when it comes to these five books, this is them right here. Any other books that I have written, you've got to go to Amazon for.